Ahmad wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem amma ba'd Today inshallah I'm going to discuss about the coronavirus uh, the recent the disease that uh, the worldwide disease that spread it around and thousands of people are dying due to coronavirus and uh, this is a sign of the final hour if we understand because uh, there is nothing in the world that will happen until the day of judgment but it is not mentioned in the Quran or the Hadith it is not possible so the world is suffering with such a disaster now such a such a uh, how to say such a all the wo- people of the world they are in a panic you know due to this uh, disease around the world and uh, so we need to understand something that i'm going to discuss about one hadith that i discussed in the, my lecture series in english uh, al mahdi 2020 and also in some other videos then also a verse in the quran of surah al dukhan the verse number 10 where Allah discusses about Allah says about فَرْتَقِبْ يَوْمَ تَأْتِ السَّمَاءُ بِدَخَانِ مُبِينَ this verse and one hadith uh, where it is said by Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم that يَقْتَتِلْ إِنْدَ قَنْزِكُمْ سَلَاسَ this hadith I will later I will say the full hadith inshallah so the first verse that I said the uh, Kartakyama Kartaki means wait Kartakyama wait for that day. That is Sama the whole heaven that will be covered with uh Bidukhani moving by a clear smoke. So this is one of the one of the greatest signs of the final hour the kiyama because if you know one hadith where Huzaifa radiallahu anhu narrates from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, I say about this hadith uh, but if you read the book one of my book from my site Death and Birth and Death of Islam it is uploaded there the PDF you can download it and you'll find the hadith in the page 49 and 50 I, I say the hadith now the hadith that it says about the smoke the, before the final hour the smoke will spread all over the heaven from east to west and due to the smoke the people will suffer uh, very severely the believer will have some coughs and cold and the non-believers they will suffer severely and smoke will come out from their nose ears and rectum well there's another hadith discussed there in my book if you if you I would like to request all of you to read the book this is a very important book uh, that we should uh, read at this moment of the present situation of the world. But it is said uh, that one day the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was uh, discussing something. At that moment, Rasulullah came to them, and he sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked, "What are you discussing about?" And then they replied, "We are discussing about the final hour." Then Rasulullah said which is the nearest minute, then the final hour will not come until the smoke, the Dajjal, the Yago, uh, Yajus, Majus, and some other signs, the Beast, the Battle Ad, Jesus, Isa, the Mariam, and some other signs he said. The most important the one that I want to say here is the he says the before the final hour the first sign that he's mentioned Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi mentioned here is the smoke. So if we go in the Surah Al Dukhan, which is uh, the number forty four Surah of the Quran, uh, the verse number forty four uh, ten, where Allah says, Wait for the day when the whole heaven will be covered with a clear smoke. Now today I'm going to 
show you some numerical analysis of the hadith. Numerical, it is based on the geometrical number system that uh, if you, if, uh, maybe it should be new to many people, but some people may know that the every alphabet of the Arabic, there is a corresponding uh, numerical value. Mm, I would like to refer you a book, uh, The Unchallengeable Miracles of the Quran by Yusuf Al Hajj Ahmad. If you if you can read that book, uh, there it is. You will find some narrations over there about this uh, numerical value of the Arabic alphabet. So first of all, I would like to say the Quran discusses. Everything that the Quran discusses about is very important and there are some signs inside it. One is the worldly meaning, but there are so many signs in the Quran because the Quran is a solution of uh, the, for the mankind until the day of judgment. So if the Quran had only some new uh, verbal meaning only, literal meaning only, uh, worldly meaning only that it cannot be the solution for the whole world so the Quran discusses about anything that the Quran mentions it has so many so many teachings inside a verse every verse that is uh, one is the verbal meaning that is uh, if you uh, go in two, two, 200 years back, the situation of the world was different. The situation of the lifestyle of the mankind was different. So the solution of that period is not the same solution as this period or the same solution cannot be after 50 years. So every verse that has a meaning, the verbal meaning is always the same, but uh, there are some signs that we find that is we find can be different at different times of the world and based on the different uh, different country the signs can be different so uh, I the thing that if you see the whole Quran the Quran mentions some some numbers specifically like uh, in Surah Maryam Allah discusses Salah Ayyam that is three days though so the Number three comes in the Quran. Again, the number comes in the Surah Tawbah, which is the Arba'at Ashur. So the number four comes in the Quran. And Surah Yusuf, it comes Sab'a Sinin, seven, the number Sab'a seven comes in the Quran. Also, in the beginning of the Surah Yusuf, it comes Ahad Ashara Kawkawa, eleven stars. So the number eleven comes in the Quran. In Surah Kahaf, if you say, uh, in the on verse of the cave people, uh, they were uh, they were sleeping in that cave for Salasa Mia, uh, Salasa Mia Sinin, that is 300 years. Then Allah again mentions, was Dadus Isa, and I have increased another nine. That is, uh, Quran mentions about the number 300 and also nine. And if you go in Surah Musammir, Allah says, Alayha tis'ata ashara, tis'a ashara, that is 19. So these numbers, 3, 4, 7, and also, also Allah mentions about uh, Musa alayhi salam, when she was uh, in the mountain to receive the Torah, Arba'in um, alayla, that is 40 nights. So these numbers, there are maybe, you know, if I know, yeah, so the number 3, 4, 7, 9, 11, 19, 40, 300, these numbers uh, Quran mentions. So we need to keep it in mind. And the number 19 is very specifically, the number 19 is very, very important. There are so many signs in the Quran based on the number 19 as I have already referred to you one the book the unchallengeable miracles of the Quran if you I would like to request all of you to read that book so I summarize the number 19 is very important anything 
the number 19 comes out of the Quran that is a very great sign for the mankind. So today I will discuss about this uh, hadith, uh, the verse 10 of Surah Dukhan and one hadith. Let's see in the papers now. So here I have written the verse. First of all, Yawma Ta'ati Sama So I have uh, calculated the numerical values here for each word in this verse. Like, Hurtaqib 581 is, Alif is 1, and that the uh, Ra is 200, uh, 400, Qaf 100, Ba is 2. So in total, it comes 70. That's all the values are given here. I will, um, this is. And this 56, the T counts 811, Sama counts 133. Uh, B, B, I have, if, if you see that in the red color, I have this, uh, circulated this part, because this B, B is uh, called in Arabic, huruf uh, That is, in English, if we compare with the prepositions, in the whole sentence, in this whole verse, there is only one preposition used here. So this preposition connects the previous part and the later part. So B is a preposition, but the rest is Dukhan. Dukhan is 655, Mubin is 102. So if you see this, I have all this value here, here, 102. So what I am going to discuss about, if you collectively calculate all this the previous part of the Dukh uh, if you um, add all this value together then the value that will come I have made a rough in another boom, another boom the value that will come 783568811 all together it comes 1783 that is 1783 if you add all these numbers it comes 19 again after the preposition b the dukhan is 655 and mubin is 102 if you add this 655 and 102 it comes 757 and if you add 757 it comes 19 so there is a clear sign here. It means by Dukhani Mubin, we will find a clear sign. There is something inside here, and there is something inside in this part. So this is 19. This is also 19. 219, and Ba is the value of 2. I have written it here. This is 19, this is 19, and the Ba is 2 is connecting the 2 part. 2 is 1 and 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So this two part comes one goes one is connecting this one and this one if we go 20 and 20 so in total 2020 this is the year 2020 this is 2020 year now and the total value of 2020 comes 40. again the this number comes in the quran as i mentioned at the beginning of the video so if you now see the 2020 year the this today uh, this year is 2020 if you go in the Arabic calendar, it comes 1441. I write it again here, 1441 Hijri year. So if you add these numbers, 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 1 equals to 10. Equals to 10. So 10 is again 1 plus 9, that is 19. So this is something very important for us. This year, the 1441, this year is very important year for us. This is one thing. Uh, so this verse actually indicating uh, the year 2020 and also the Arabic calendar 1441 both comes from the same thing. And as 1441 sum together is changed, this is the verse number 10. This is the verse number verse V E R S E verse 10. This is verse 10. So. If you see all this value, 
you can calculate, you will find the chart of each alphabet and how comes the value in the book also. Also, if you search in the uh, internet, you will find that, find this one. Now, the present situation in the world is the coronavirus. The coronavirus is COVID-19. If you see, this is 19, COVID-19. And virus in Arabic is virus. And corona is the, if you translate in by Google Translator, it will find al aqlil. So the coronavirus, if you translate in Google Translate, it will come virusul aqlil. So virusul aqlil, coronavirus, all the value I have found here, the fire, raw, wow, sin, all this here, comes 356. So 356 is 14. And also al aqlil, al aqlil comes, all the value I have mentioned here, it comes 122. If we can sum together, 1 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. So virus of aqlil, it comes 14 plus 5 equals to 19. So this is 19 comes again. Now, the honey moving, as I have mentioned, it is 655, 102, 655 is 16, and 102 is 3. So it, if we sum together, it comes 19. Okay, so the 19 coming one again and again. So this is very important. We need to understand 16 plus 3 is so 19. So what happened due to the coronavirus in the world? If you see in the world, uh, what is done in the Makkah, especially uh, we will focus on the Makkah because uh, whatever is happening in the Makkah is the sign for the Muslims. The first thing they have done is the Yaglukul Masajid. They have closed the masjids. So Yaglukul Masajid, if you find the values, Yaglukul, Yagluk means close, closing. They have, uh, he closed the masjids. The masjids, Al Masajid, and Yaglukul is closed. So Golaka, it comes from the verb Golaka, Yaglukul. So Ya is chain, or if you sum all this, it comes. 1140 if you add together it comes 6 and the al-masajid if you add all this value it comes uh, 139 so it comes 1 plus 3 plus 9 equals 13 so yeah look on masajid it comes 13 plus 6 equal to 19 again so the second thing they have done is they have suspended the umrah so suspending in Arabic is ta'alik, uh, I give ta'alik, ta'alikul umrah ta'alik, umrah. So ta'alikul umrah, again if you find the value 470, 30, 100, it comes 610, so 6 plus 1 plus 0 is 7, and al umrah ta'alik, umrah, so it comes 741, so 7 plus 4 plus 1 is 12, so 12 plus 7 is 19 again. So these are the things that happen in the world. So what comes? Allah says in the Quran, wait for the day when the heaven will be covered with smoke, clear smoke. So the clear smoke, the sign of the final hour or the kiyama is already among us. It is the virus of Akhil, that is coronavirus, due to which the masjids are closed all around the world, many parts of the world. The masjids are closed and Muslims cannot come to Umbra. So this is a very important thing that we understand. We need to understand the smoke event already happened among us. We, we, we give some more, some more, some more proofs. Like if you see Ta'ati, Ta'ati is uh, to reach something. Ya'ata, ya'ati from the verb. Ta'ati comes 111. So, and asama, the heaven, it comes 133. So, 133, what happened? I made a rough here. So, if you know that all the flights around the world are closed now to come into the Makkah. So the flight Arabic aeroplane is a toy, like the birds, it has the same Arabic, and also the sarafa. Sarafa means remove away. So he removed away. The sarafa toyru is means the flights are removed away. So sod rafa, if you add together uh, sod rafa, it comes 370. 
So 3 plus 7 is 10. Uh, at toy, if you add together 1 plus 30, lam is 30, to is 9, ya is 10, and ro is 200. So it comes 250. So it is 7. So at is 7, 137. So it is can be the same thing. Farafa ta'ati is 800, 811. It is 8 plus 1 plus 1 is 10. The so farafa is 10. So the flights are removed. So by the khani moving is Fairusul Aklil. So I can write the verse, a sentence like this Fartaqib Yawma, Farafat Tayru, Bi Fairusul Akli. Which means wait for the day when the flights will be removed by coronavirus. So again, this verse giving us a sign that this will happen by the khan, the khan, the smoke the clear smoke, so the smoke event that was supposed to be done, happen before the Qiyamah, it is already among us. We have so many proofs this. If you go, the 11th, the very next verse, the 11th verse, first the Qiyamah the Atisama with the Khani moving, then, then the next verse is Yagusha Nas. Yagusha, Goshia, this verse is Goshia. Yagusha, yag, Goshia, Yagusha. Yes. I, I would like to uh, request all of you, those who doesn't know the Arabic, please uh, uh, discuss about this, about my video with some uh, scholars of Arabic, and they will give you some more understanding about this. Yagusha is to cover something. Yagusha uh, Nas, the people will be covered by that smoke, Dukhan, by that smoke, Dukhan, people will be covered. So how, what happened by Fairusul Aklil? Fairusul Aklil is the coronavirus, what happened? The people become sick. Uh, in Arabic, Marada Yamridu is the sickness, to get sick. So people will get sick, is Arabic is Yamridu Nas. Yamridu Nas, it comes, if you, Yagsha is Ya, Wain, Shin, Ya, it comes. 1320, it comes 6. Yamridu is 240, 10, so, and 800, dot. So it counts 1056. So Yamridu Nas, people will get sick. So this value is same. So this is another proof that uh, the smoke event is among us. Uh, so another thing is Goshia Yagosha. If you know the Pure Arabic, uh, at the beginning, the Arabic was without this, uh, uh, this science. This science is not, so, this verse also can be written like this, Yugoshi, Yugoshi Nas. Yugoshi Nas, it means Yugoshi, Gosha, Gosha, Yugoshi is, uh, Gosha. Gosha, Yugoshi means, uh, to deceive people. So people will be deceived how this deception will come. So we know this coronavirus, the coronavirus is going all around the world, people are getting sick. But actually this coronavirus is a deception. Uh, people are getting deceived that due to by this virus, uh, how? So when I looked at these three words, now you see Ta'ati, 811, so there is an 11 here. Asama, 133. If you go 33, there is an inside 3 times 11. So there is another 11 here. Dukhan, 655. So there is another 11 here. And the verse, verse 11. This is verse 11. This is verse 11. Where it is said, people will be covered. That is, people will be deceived. So I was thinking this 11, number 11 is something I need to understand. So if you go, if you recite the Surah al Yasin, where Allah says, uh, uh, Surah Yasin, Ya Bani Adam, all the children of Adam, uh, Allah Ta'abud Shaitan, don't uh, be obedient or don't be slave to Shaitan, the devil, the Shaitan. Uh, he is your uh, clear enemy. So, 
So the word here enemy Adu Mubin. So I took the word Adu Mubin. Here it is Adu Mubin. Adu means the enemy. So I found the found the value I need seventy that is four and wow six so it comes eighty is eight. Moving is 102, I have already shown you in the previous page. So moving is 1 plus 0 plus 2 is 3. So 8 plus 2 counts 11. The, as I said, the number 11 is important discussed in the Quran. So Adu moving is the Shaitan, the devil. And so we have this indication that all these things, the flight, cancellation of the flight is a conspiracy by the devil power as some uh, the cancellation of the, the here of the, uh, the 11 is there so the conspiracy is hidden here and Dukhan the Dukhan the thing the smoke uh, normally uh, people take only the verbal meaning literal meaning smoke but the Quran is always have some literal meaning and also have some spiritual meaning. So all the people in the world, they are getting actually deceived by Shaitan. So this is one thing. One more thing I would like to say by these two. When I found these sentences, these numbers, I said there may be something more in these things. So 8, 11, what is the number 8? Then I went to the Surah number 8, verse number 11, that is Surah number 8, and verse number 11 is Surah Anfal. Is yugashikum nu'asata amanata minhu wa yunasila alaykum minas samai ma'an. And so you see, is yugashikum. Ya goin shin ya, like here, like it was in the, in this verse. Ya goin shin ya, ya goin shin ya. So in the same verse, 11, that was also in Surah Dukhan, number 11 verse, and here it is also 11th verse. So I said, when this is tested, it means deceiving people. So, is Yugoshikum, when you will be deceived. This is not the say, I'm not translating the original, original, because this is a, this is a verse uh, that discusses about the Battle of Badr, which happened in the second year of the Hijri in Madi, in between, in the field of Badr, in between Makkah and Medina. So, when, uh, the original meaning you will find in the Quran, but I'm taking the, uh, verbal meaning is yugashikum when you will be deceived by nuasata amanatan. So I calculate the value of nuasata amanatan, which means actually uh, uh, sleepiness, sleepiness. Uh, so and nuasata amanatan. If you see nuasata, it comes all this value 222, 2 plus 2 is 6, and amanatan 1 plus 40 plus 50 plus. 400, it comes 114, so again the value comes 19. So this is very, very, very important for us to understand. Is Yugashi Kumun Nuasata Amanatan? When you will be deceived by Nuasata Amanatan means the coronavirus. If you are deceived, when you will be deceived by the coronavirus, when you will be deceived by the smoke, when you will be deceived by the closing of the masjid when you will be deceived by the cancellation suspension of the umrah so the next thing that how this uh, this uh, decision will be removed then allah will send uh, uh, from the heaven a rain so that we can be pure, rectified by that. Why use Hiba and Kumurid as a shaitan? So that will remove the effect of shaitan from us. Oh, then the, that will uh, strengthen our, uh, that will peace our heart and um, uh, strengthen our steps 
the, the later portion. So what we need to know now that I, I, I'll keep it in, keep this portion in mind. I will discuss at the end of the uh, video, inshallah, about this. So Nuas Tamanatan is 19 again. So the next thing is this is one thing I came to verse. Uh, uh, the Surah 8 that is Anfal and verse 11 saying this. Then I was seeing this one 130. I came to Surah Baqarah verse 33, so I found nothing there. Then again, I, I said uh, 133 is 133 is 1 plus 3 plus 3 is 7. So I came to the number 7 Surah that is Surah Araf and verse number 133. When I came to this verse, that is very, very serious for us. فَأَرْسَلْنَا عَلَيْهِمُ الْتُوفَانِ So Allah says about the people of Fir'aun and the people of Misr, Egypt, that فَأَرْسَلْنَا Then I have sent عَلَيْهِمْ upon them a tufan. That is, Tufan is a cyclone or overflowing of water. Uh, while Jarad is the, you know, the insects that are eating, the locusts that are eating the grains that eat the grains. While Kummal is the lice. What Dofadir is the frogs. What Dam is blood. Ayati Mufassala, that was the clear, clear uh, proofs of the for making decision of, uh, as a punishment from Allah. Uh, even then, first Akbaru, even then they were very arrogant people, the Pharaoh and his people, Waqanu Khawma Mujimin, and they remained uh, um, disobedient people and they remained uh, corrupted people. Like this something you can see. But the thing when I found Al Jarad, Al Jarad, if, 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 you know the present situation of the world in the Africa, Somalia, Sudan, and Kenya, Djibouti, Uganda, and some other parts of Africa, the Algeria, the locusts, the, uh, the insects that are, they are eating the grains, and people are suffering due to the lacking of food over there. And also they have uh, traveled now to India and Pakistan. The Pakistan is suffering severely. So the Jarod is among us. So it means, and also if you see al alif lam is al d, uh, like in English we use dofadir is the frog. Dofadir, if you find the value of dofadir, I have found it here somewhere. Some oh, okay, you can find it yourself also. Oh, sorry, my book is So if you find uh, if you find the value of dofadir, it also comes nineteen. It comes nineteen. So it comes nineteen. I don't know whether it is coronavirus itself or something else, uh, but the problem is, Jarod is among us, that will Tufan, and Kumal, Dafadi, and Dam, blood. These four other, four other punishment of Allah will be coming very soon. Uh, within this year, why, how I say within this year, because if you find this portion, the value for this portion, uh, from the part the the punishments from here to them. These are the five punishments that Allah sent to Pharaoh mentions in this verse. So this five if you find all this value together and add together, it comes ten. It comes ten. Uh, I made some uh, some rough here. Maybe in some other like here, I found all this, all this value together. If you add all this value together, it comes ten. So ten is, as I said, ten ten is one plus nine. That is nineteen. Ten comes from nineteen. So this is also a sign for us that this was ten. Also ten is the year 1441 so this hijri year severe punishments are coming from Allah to us as Jarod is already among us 
some other punishments are coming. Maybe the thumb, the blood. If you know the hadith of Al Mahdi, Al Mahdi will come as I discussed in some other lecture, some my in my lectures is um uh, like uh, Al Mahdi twenty twenty. I would like to request all of you to see that lecture series. Uh, there it is discussed that uh, during the Hajj period when uh, the Hujjah, the pilgrims will be killed and uh, so many blood scattering will be done and one day the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa when he was in Medina he looked at the east and his chest came out and he said in the east my people, my ummah will be killed in such a number that the blood will cover uh, drown until their un uh, ankle. So, so the blood punishment is coming this year. Maybe the punishment of the Malhamatul Kubra, the greatest war, uh, that will be based on based on Al Mahdi. So again, if I say about the Hadith now. Um, the Hadith, as the Hadith, I said I was going to discuss about one Hadith also related to this. The hadith says, in that hadith it is said by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, يَسْتَفِرُ إِنْدَقَانْزِكُمْ صَلَاسَ Three will fight each other about your concern, about your treasure, uh, near your treasure. كُلُّهُمْ إِبْنُ الْخَلِيفَةَ And all of them will be the princes, the son, the children of uh, sons of a uh, Khalifa, they are the princes, they are the princes. Kullum ibn Khalifa. Summa la yasiru ila min ahadim minhum, but they will not receive, they will not be able to gain that uh, treasure. Summa tatlu uruya to sud min kibar il mashrik. Then a troops, a, a troops of soldiers will come from the east. Mm Lam They will they will kill you in such a way that no nations have ever done such killings to another nation. The narrator of the hadith is Sawban Rajallahu, he says, Summa Zakrashay and La Hazhu Then Rasulullah said something that I don't remember now. Fakal then Rasulullah said, Fa ida ra'aytumuhu when you will see him, Faba Yuhu then you take the allegiance by his hand. Even you have to crawl on the snow. Well, because he is the Khalifa of Allah Al Mahdi. I have discussed about this hadith in very broadly uh, in the in my lecture series in Al Mahdi twenty twenty. I am saying again and again please um, Check that uh, lecture series because uh, this is the year Al Mahdi will come among us uh, during Ramadan, inshallah. Uh, during Ramadan, actually, uh, so many proofs are among us. Uh, we are going to see starving, of uh, lacking of food around the world, and uh, some other punishments from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and also earthquakes, earthquakes. Now, already started in some parts of the world, in Japan and uh, Ukraine or Croatia, some other parts maybe. Um, and it will increase uh, before uh, uh, before the Ramadan, it will increase more severely. And also, you know, the, <coughs> uh, the, there, is a, there is a my big, big, very big, Stone coming towards the earth uh, that is 1998 or two that is coming towards the earth. Uh, I have discussed it in my book, uh, Death Islam, Birth and Death of Islam. It is uh, on. It is you will find it in my uh, online in my site. Please download the book. There is I have uh, I have written one article about the about the coming. Uh, that is uh, something is going to hit the earth uh, during the time of Al Mahdi. It can be before the Mahdi. It can be after the Mahdi. Uh, yeah, it can be before the Mahdi or uh, during the Mahdi. So 
and it is may it may happen during the Ramadan, 15th of Ramadan or 7th of Ramadan. So many things are coming in front of us. So we need to uh, we need to check out and we need to be careful and we need to prepare ourselves uh, what we are uh, what we are going to see in the next few days, few months because Al Mahdi is coming in 2020. I have discussed it very broadly, very elaborately. If you see in the internet, you will find so many, so many, many, many wrong informations about Al Mahdi. So many wrong narrations of the, uh, you know, so many conspiracy going on around the world, um, around the world. Everything that is happening in the Makkah now, the cancellation of the masjids, flights, suspension of Umrah, everything is based uh, on this verse. If you see, if you see also the Makkah. Uh, Makkah, Makkah. If you find the numerical value of Makkah is ten, mm, Makkah is ten. It means nineteen. The verse is Fartakubiya Mata Ati Sama with Dukhani Mubin. This verse is ten. That is nineteen. Dukhani Mubin. The clear smoke is nineteen. Virusul Atli Coronavirus is nineteen. Then Yaglukun Masajid. The closing of the Masjid is nineteen. And uh, suspension of the Alikul Umrah is 19. Also, all the things that I have shown you, this is very clear among us uh, to me, and everyone should be understand that this is very clear that uh, Al Mahdi is coming this year, inshallah, uh, by Ramadan. If you check that video, see a video lecture in my site in YouTube or even Facebook, every, uh, I have uploaded it in around four months or five months back. Also there are some uh, letters uh, in my site where uh, uh, one year before I was uh, warning the people that uh, al Mahdi is coming this year and the punishment will be coming to the earth. So inshallah, so all the things that is happening in the world that as I have said, the Makkah, all the incidents happening. The coronavirus, uh, this is a deception to the people. This is a part of conspiracy of the devil power. And uh, they have scattered this, uh, this uh, some kind of chemical or they are spreading some kind of thing uh, by food or something. As a Muslim, we need, to, we need to have faith on the words of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because Allah says in the Quran, in huwa illa wahwi yuha. Uh, which is the uh, meaning that uh, the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam never says anything without the indication of without the uh, without the indication of without the power of Allah. Every, that is everything, every word that comes. Um, try to understand because I'm not native to English. Uh, every word that came out from the mouth of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is actually from Allah. Uh, as uh, in one hadith, one companion was writing the words of Rasulullah in a book. Uh, when he, uh, then the companions asked Rasulullah, Ya Rasulullah, sometimes uh, as a human being you say maybe something. Should we note down those words of you also? Rasulullah said, Uktu. You write down. Because, uh, He who holds my life, there is nothing but uh, the truth comes out from this mouth. There's nearest meaning like this. So every word that Rasulullah said is very important to us, and we need to have faith on the words of Rasulullah and as a Muslim, as a mu'min. Rasulullah said there is no disease in the world, which is the nearest meaning, no disease in the world that goes from one person to another. That is uh, like uh, the trend is going, the coronavirus is spreading from one person to another. This, there's no disease in the world. It is uh, spreading through some kind of food or water or some other things maybe. Uh, we will discuss it, inshallah, more. Now we return to the discussion of the hadith that I said, Yaktatir in the Kanzikum Salasa, that you will be, because when I was uh, thinking about this verse, the first uh, when I was uh, found all these things from the verse, my numerical calculation, on the night that I slept, because uh, I I was told, Allah told me, 
what was the sentence where Allah tahta tahta kansun something like wakana tahta kansun this is the this is the verse of uh, Surah Al Kahf the cave uh, that is hidden there is some more treasure so I was thinking about this uh, verse when I when Allah said to me that thing wakana tahta kansun so uh, then I found many things of this thing. Then also, if you seek, when I found the word kansun, then I went to that hadith. Fartakim yaktatin da kanzikum salasa kansun. Kansun is the treasure. So when I went to that hadith, the last, the last word of the hadith is about al Mahdi. Fa innahu khalifatullah. So I found the well of khalifatullah. It is uh, all the values is given here. You can find it yourself also. It is four. Allah is 12, if I add 12 plus 4 is 16, so if you see Dukhan is 655, 5 plus 5 plus 6 is 16, so this is one thing I came in my mind, so Dukhan is 16, so what that we have to source discussed in this mention in this hadith, uh, if you see, you will find this is a very famous hadith, and yeah, Ibn Khalifa, the fighting going on at this moment uh, in the uh, royal family of Saudi Arabia, it is already among us. And summa tatlu ruyatu sud min kibal al mashik. A troops of soldier will come, and this is the uh, you, if you, you know that the U.S. soldiers have already entered the Saudi Arabia in September, October last year. This is the Ruya Tusud I have discussed more elaborately in my lecture series Al Mahdi 2020. That is the US soldiers Allah mentioned. They have also in charge here. And what they will do, they will kill you. So I found the value, this is 736 and Kotlan 531. If I add together, it comes 16 again. So Dukhan is 16. Hayatulun of Mkatlan is 16. And Khalifatullah, Khalifatullah, that is Al Mahdi, is 16. So it means this year they will kill people, the US soldiers. Also, the Royal Tussud, I found the value of Royal Tussud. If you see the Royal Tussud value, Royal Tussud, when it uh, fade away, Royal Tussud is 744. Also, there is 11 inside here. That is Raya Tusu. This is Abu Mubin. They are our, they are our enemy. Mm, also, if you see Aklil, it has also an 11. So, all these are uh, conspiracy from the devil power. So, the Raya Tusu, they will come and kill by Dukhan here. Uh, so, this is uh, this year also that we are going to see. Uh, they will kill in such a way that no people, have, no nations have done such killings. They are killing by through coronavirus. The people are now shut down inside their homes. In Saudi Arabia, people uh, that they have uh, announced curfew, so people cannot go out of the house. People cannot buy things. All the things, uh, the price of all the things are going high day by day. Here in Makkah, the, we are living in Makkah, we know the situation here is uh, very critical, going on every day by day, and all the transportation are uh, cut down from all other districts. Uh, people cannot go out of Makkah, out, people cannot enter into Makkah. Uh, the supplies are, supplies are, uh, you know, supplies are getting uh, finished. The people will see starving very soon. And uh, whenever they found any uh, any person uh, in the disease, uh, this uh, coronavirus, they, they have announced. Maybe they did not announce actually, but it is uh, we uh, we heard from people that if anyone found uh, affected by coronavirus, they will kill him. Uh, so people are getting killed all around the world. They're killing in such a way that no nations have done ever done such killings. So uh, this is Khalifatullah. Uh, Khalifatullah, where is Khalifatullah? Khalifatullah is 16. Dukhan is 16. 
and fastrun of Kotlin is 16. So all these things will happen this year. Uh, and uh, that is, uh, uh, I I come to a conclusion of this hadith. And as I said, the Makkah, I have found it here. It's a Makkah chain. And also, if you see, uh, uh, Muhammad bin Salman is also chain. The present, uh, present, 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 crown prince of Saudi Arabia, and Shaitan also chain. So many things actually uh, going on. So I come to the conclusion of this verse. Uh, this is the Atis Sama, I came, Tarakut Sarafat so is the flight, flight cancellation, and uh, also the Khanim Mubin is the coronavirus, and also Yagrukul Masajid, closing of the masjid, Ta'ali Kul Umrah, uh, suspension of the Umrah, all these things. And the Dukhan is Fayakturunakum uh, Qatlan. This is 16. It means Fayakturunakum Qatlan. They will kill you in such a way that no nations have done, ever done such killings. Also, Ta'alikul Umrah. Also, Khalifatullah Al Mahdi. All these things together is the deception. Dukhani movement is the sign Dukhan movement that has uh, already present among us. Now we need to understand this is among us going on. Uh, the Muslims should be very, very careful and prepared for what is coming next. Some more punishments from Allah SWT will be coming. So again, when I saw this verse, this five more, some more punishments are coming. Then about this, I went to uh, number six surah. That is and verse number 55, if you come, you will be happy. I became very happy when this verse I found. Kazalika <coughs> That's how, this is, that's how I have explained the ayat, my proofs, my ayat, I have said, uh, that's, that's how I have explained Nufasil uh, ayat. What is the stabina sabilun mujrimin? To show you, to expose the. Uh, expose how to translate hacks. You can see the translation, but I translate myself. That's how. Um, to expose, to bring out in front of you the conspiracy, the deception of the wrong people. So all the things that the coronavirus trend is going around the world is the conspirations Allah confirms by 655 of this one. And also as I have discussed all these things here, I show you one more thing. This is this is maybe seems very new to you, to many, not to all, but to many. When Allah says in Surah Room, verse number 57, وَلَقَدَ ضَرَبْنَا لِلنَّاسِ فِي هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ مِنْ كُلِّ مَا سَلْ I have uh, explained in this Qur'an for people every type of things مِنْ كُلِّ مَا سَلْ وَلَا إِنْ جِئْتَهُمْ If you... But when you will bring this, the ayat in, all these proofs to people لَيَقُولُنَّ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا Those who doesn't want to obey, they will say إِنْ أَنْتُمْ إِلَّا مُبْتِدُونَ you are nothing but uh, a wrong people. So many things. I, as I said, the Quran narrates so many, so many things in many ways. So if anything comes to you new, it doesn't mean it is wrong. It has many, many explanations. That's why Quran is the solution of until the day of judgment. And again, come to the surah, surah Dukhan that was we were discussing about. So this is Yagashan uh, Nas, this is the, that will cover the people, Haza Azabun Alim. This is a very, very great punishment from Allah SWT for people. Now what we're supposed to do, we need to pray to Allah, Rabbana, O our Lord, Ikshif Anna Al Azab, remove this punishment from us, Inna Mu'minun, we, we, we will believe, we will become believer now. 
in the mu'minun it means this part of the verse uh, refers to us it indicates us that we need to now make tawbah to Allah we need to ask forgiveness to Allah all the Muslims around the world because Allah says in another verse in the Quran every uh, every disturbance that comes to mankind in the water or the in the lands it means any part of the world any disturbance comes to mankind is the earning of mankind earning of human hand it is earning of us so, so we need to ask forgiveness to Allah, so that Allah forgive us and remove this punishment from us. But what will happen, Allah indicates, even that many people will not ask forgiveness to Allah. Allah, as Allah says in the next verse, Anna Allah zikra, where they are uh, taking, receiving, getting advice. When the Rasul has come to them. That is, it, uh, I will translate this when this message has already come to you because the Rasul, Rasul means actually messenger. Summa ta'allu anhu, but many people will uh, turn away from him. But it means, uh, I'm translating myself, many people may turn away from my, from my words. وَقَالُوا مُعَلَّمٌ مَجْنُونَ And they will say, Mu'allam, it means where they have learned from where they have learned such things and Majnoon is uh, mad, is out of his uh, order, he is uh, mentally sick. Inna qashibul azabi qalilan, Allah says this azab will be removed, uh, removed, this punishment will be removed very soon. Inna, inna kum but even then you will be uh, disobedient, then what Allah will say, do then Allah will punish even more severely in uh, I will take the revenge from them so this is one thing that more 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 severe punishment is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more severe punishment is coming that is malhamatul kubra the dajjal the, the greatest deception of the ever that human uh, mankind has ever seen so more severe punishment is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in very, very, uh, very, very near time after Ramadan when Al-Mahdi will be among us. Uh, all the things that is happening in Makkah, all around the world actually based on Makkah. Um, in, uh, because uh, if it was only in Makkah closing the masjid or suspension of Umrah, it was only inside the Makkah, then uh, it will be very difficult for them to uh, close the masjids. And uh, people will say many things, and, uh, and people will create, the Muslim world will create pressure upon Saudi Kingdom to, to, to this, uh, so they have created a worldwide, worldwide panic in the name of coronavirus. Uh, to stop the people to come to Makkah uh, because the allegiance of Al-Mahdi will happen in between by Rukun al-Maqam in between Rukun in the Kaaba inside the uh, place where people do the tawaf by in between Rukun and Maqam so to pe- stop the people from coming to Makkah they have done all these things because if you know Al-Mahdi Al-Mahdi, the word Al-Mahdi comes nine. And as I said, Adu Mubin is eleven. So the nine eleven means Al-Mahdi is our clear enemy. So this is the thing they are using nine eleven every year, everything. What they are doing all around the world is against Al-Mahdi to stop Al-Mahdi. Because when Al Mahdi will come, all their kingdom will be destroyed. Uh, all the superpowers of the world, the US, UN, all other, Israel, everything will be destroyed. And the Islam will be established. <coughs> so, all the conspiracy going all around the world actually stop this one person, Al Mahdi. So, we 
need to understand this thing the everything happening in the world is uh, based on Makkah so what we need to do now as if you see if you read my book uh, I have uploaded two books over there because I uh, in my, my native language is Bengali I have written several books around about it I have uh, tried to translate my fellow members they have helped me to translate uh, two books already mm, the death uh, the birth and death of Islam this is a very important book everyone should read it, this book at this uh, moment of the world and also there is a book as in death and dose um, death of Islam and our dose in the name this is what we are supposed to prepare or how we are supposed to prepare ourselves at this moment and also about Al Mahdi and why the Muslim nation is getting destroyed around the world all these things I have discussed over there so if you can download it free so try to read this book and at this moment about coronavirus we know we don't need to be very upset about it because uh, Allah uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the believers will have coldness coughs at this time during the smoke and if you see the symptoms of coronavirus is cough and also dehydration and some other things that they are saying uh, it is also indicated in the hadith when the smoke will come the non-believers will have severe 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 punishment and smoke will come out through their nose nostrils and their ears and rectum so dehydration is through the rectum and the nostrils is the cough and uh, here is the smoke is the rumors that we are uh, hearing uh, so stop hearing the rumors uh, for the believers it is uh, our duty to stop hearing the rumors and ignore those things and um, as they have um, scattered something throw food or something else so now we need to avoid any kind of medicine for coldness and also dehydration stop eating any kind of medicine because uh, through this medicine they are actually killing the people mm, this is confirmed stop uh, accepting those medicines uh, what we need to do due to coldness uh, now with the students of uh, if there are some uh, with little knowledge we can uh, I have a cup if there is no water inside there there will never be water from any other source so our body is like the cup whatever the water we drink the urination it comes out of the body through urination through sweating through our tears through our saliva and through our nostrils this the source of these waters are our water that we drink uh, please have faith on my words because I have uh, I have uh, personally uh, made some uh, research about it so I have made some practice about it if you I practice myself that I didn't drink water for two and a half days after two and a half days what happened the urination stops the sweating stops also the saliva inside the mouth stops so when I was get cold for some months before I stopped drinking so what happened the coldness stopped so this is the way we need to treat, make treatment ourselves. So and if you catch cold and uh, the cold is not going out, stop drinking water for one or two days uh, and you will not die. And also if the dehydration continues, stop eating because uh, the first day all the food that we have eaten, it will be removed from our body and I give an example if we run if we run or swim our body gets tired so if we take some rest for a while the the body gains energy again so the dehydration means the stomach our stomach it is uh, now it is sick 
uh, it can it cannot digest properly so give some rest to your stomach don't eat food so if you stop food nah, after one day or one and a half day this dehydration will be stopped so that's how you can treat the coronavirus this is our practical we are doing this practically so this is proved practically so don't eat any medicine at this time because they are uh mixing some poisonous things that are killing people in china that are killing in people in italy and some other parts and many parts so these are the things we need to take care may allah help all of us to understand the things that i have discussed and please share this video to all the muslims possible and also to the non-muslims because they are also suffering due to this virus we need to help the Muslims, non-Muslims. Actually, we need to help the mankind. As Allah says in the Quran, Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat nas. We are sent as the best nation and to serve the people. So we need to serve the people and we need to get prepared that Al-Mahdi is coming. A big, big revolution we are going to see around the world by Al-Mahdi and, uh, and, his, and his people. So I asked all the people to enter into, into Makkah I was announcing this that Al Mahdi will be coming this Ramadan or at best in during the Hajj period. Please, all the Muslims around the world, please come to Makkah. Uh, now they have stopped the doors of Makkah, but even then, as in the as it is, I say, I mentioned the Hadith. Rasulullah said, "Faida ra'aytumhu fabayyuhu." When you see him, uh, you take the allegiance. Walau uh, habu na such, even you have to crawl on the snow. The Rasulullah knew that the doors of Makkah will be closed when Al Mahdi will come. And that's why uh, they are actually, the hadith is actually coming true. So that's why Rasulullah said, Wallahu Habun al such, at any cost you have to come, you come, even you have to cross the border, you have to come illegally, come to Makkah. Because this is the time for the Muslims, inshallah. May Allah accept all the Muslims. Um, brothers and sisters, everyone around the world, and save us from this uh, coronavirus and also the coming punishments that Allah says, says in the verse that I have shown you. May Allah save us and accept us for His religion, Islam. Amen.